The COVID-19 vaccine should help reduce the rates of serious illness and save lives, and will therefore reduce pressure on the NHS and social care services. Some people may still get COVID-19 despite having had a vaccination, but this should be less severe. Patients are being invited for vaccinations based on their risk if they were to become infected with COVID-19, starting with the most vulnerable and working through the population. The Pfizer and Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccines are now available. Both vaccines have been shown to be safe and offer high levels of protection and have been given regulatory approval by the MHRA. The vaccine you receive is reliant on deliveries and we're unable to offer a choice of vaccines at the moment. We are delivering both vaccinations from our Moorhays site. You may also receive an invite for a central mass vaccination clinic. It's your choice which appointment you attend, but please let us know if you no longer need your appointment so this can be given to someone else. Please attend your appointment at your allocated time and not early or late. This will mean we can avoid queues forming around the vaccination site. We aim to provide an environment everyone will feel safe, so please wear a mask for your appointment, unless you are exempt from this, and please maintain social distancing at all times during the appointment. Your vaccine will be given into the muscle in your upper arm. Please wear appropriate clothing so this area is easily accessible. COVID-19 vaccines work by introducing a molecule called mRNA into the body. This mRNA instructs the muscle cells to make the spike protein which is found on the COVID-19 virus. The spike protein is then recognised by the immune system which produces antibodies to provide protection against COVID-19 infection in the future. This introduction of mRNA into your body does not change the DNA of your cells. It is destroyed by your body within a few days and it will not be incorporated into your DNA. Like all medicines, vaccines can cause side effects. Most of these are mild and short term and not everyone gets them. Even if you do have symptoms after the first vaccine, you still need to have the second vaccine as this will give the best possible protection against the virus. Very common side effects include having a painful, heavy feeling arm when you had your injection, feeling tired, a headache, general aches and pains, and mild flu-like symptoms. These symptoms normally last less than a week and can be reduced by taking paracetamol. You will be asked to give your consent to receive the vaccine. This means you have understood the pros and cons of receiving the vaccine and have decided to go ahead with it. You will also be asked a number of questions which may affect your suitability to receive the injection. If you say yes to any of these questions, it does not necessarily mean you cannot have the vaccine, but it may require a further discussion with one of the healthcare team at the vaccination centre. Before you have your vaccine, you will be asked the following important questions. Have you received any other vaccination in the last seven days? Do you currently have a fever? Have you had a serious allergic reaction to any of the ingredients of the COVID vaccine, any drugs or any other vaccines? Have you ever had an unexplained anaphylactic reaction? Are you pregnant, breastfeeding or planning to get pregnant in the next two months? Have you been part of any coronavirus vaccine trials? Do you take any blood thinners or have a blood clotting disorder? And finally, do you currently have any symptoms of coronavirus and are you well? You will be told on the day which vaccine you have received. If you have received the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, you can leave straight away. However, we recommend that you wait 15 minutes before you drive. 
If you have received the Pfizer vaccine, then you need to stay with us for 15 minutes in the waiting room to ensure that you remain well. The vaccination will reduce the chance of you suffering from COVID-19 infection. You may not be fully protected until at least seven days after the second dose of the vaccine. Like all medicine, no vaccine is completely effective. You should continue to take recommended precautions to avoid infection. Some people may still get COVID-19 despite having a vaccination, but this should be less severe. The MHRA have said these vaccines are highly effective, but to get full protection, people need to come back for the second dose, and this is really important. To ensure as many people are vaccinated as quickly as possible, the Department of Health now advise that the second dose of both the Oxford AstraZeneca and the Pfizer vaccine should be scheduled up to 12 weeks apart. We will let you know about your appointment for the second dose you don't need to contact the surgery.